Hey, what's up everybody? We have got a benefit concert just around the corner, so I thought it'd be a good idea to go over some of the important details one more time. I sent out an email about a week ago and some people said they didn't get it. So just to be safe, I'm gonna make this video super quick and it's gonna cover everything that you need to know. First thing, yes, benefit concert, Saturday, April 29th. It starts promptly at 12 p.m. However, we need to do a run-through starting right at 10 a.m. And the goal is to do as many run-throughs of the show as we can. Understand that all the students have never played together. They've only played with the students in their class. Um, so it's really important that we do this run-through. We're gonna start right at 10 a.m. So it'd be a good idea to show up maybe 10 to 15 minutes earlier. That way we can tune the guitars, the drummers can adjust their seat heights, things like that. Um, t-shirts, uh, the t-shirts have been such just a joy this whole cycle um i just got notified today that they will not be finished until 4 30 p.m today i can't pick them up because that leads me right into my first lesson of the day so i will have to pick them up on monday because they're closed saturday and sunday so do me a favor please make sure that they attend their regular weekday classes so I can make sure to get them the shirts. Some people haven't paid for the shirts yet, which again, that's the least of my concerns right now. I just wanna make sure that they get the shirt, that it fits, um, that way they don't have to be worried about that the day of the concert. So if you could, please make sure they're at their weekday class. If not, we can set up a time to do an exchange. Um, before you guys leave the house, it'd be a good idea to do a checklist the day of the concert. Things like, do they have their instrument? Do they have the items needed for the instrument? Like if they're a guitarist, they need guitar picks. Um, they need their guitar capo, that clamp that we use in class. Speaking of guitar capos, uh, I've noticed a lot of students have been borrowing mine. Some people have left away with mine, I need those back. But more importantly, if you've been borrowing, make sure you contact, or at least parents, make sure you contact me as soon as possible because we need to get one ordered. Uh, I do not have enough capos to let people borrow them during the concert. As a matter of fact, I need to use mine for the concert, which leaves me only one other capo. So if you've, if you've overheard them say they've lost it completely or um, they've been borrowing them lately, please contact me as soon as possible. Um, other than that, other things they might need if they're a drummer, drumsticks. Um, going back to t-shirts, uh, just know that they they are going to wear just their regular white t-shirt, but they are allowed to wear like a little jacket. They're allowed to wear a vest. They can wear a hat. Um, basically, the only thing they're not allowed to do is actually write or draw or rip sleeves off of the actual concert, uh, the concert shirt. So allow them to, to have fun with it. Uh, that way they can make it their own style. This one goes out to the ladies out there. Um, if they are going to wear shorts, the shorts need to be at a reasonable length, meaning maybe like above the knee slightly. Um, uh, basically, the rule that I have is if they can't imagine their own mom wearing it on the stage, then they should not be wearing it on the stage either. So uh, other than that, if they want to wear capris, if they want to just wear, um, and this goes to anybody, if, if guys want to wear, what are those things called? Joggers, I think that's what they're called. They want to wear joggers. They can wear joggers if they want to wear, um, you know, cargo shorts. They they can wear that stuff. Um, just we're trying to keep it as presentable as possible. So, other than that, I think the only other thing that I need to cover is probably the most important one. I just want to give a huge thank you to all of you family members, um, all of you parents, students, everyone who makes these benefit concerts possible. Uh, understand that. Uh, Learning music is one thing. Learning what to do with music is even more important. There are so many musicians that are sitting in chairs and never touching their instrument because they don't have a reason why. And I can't think of a better reason why to play music than just simply being a blessing to other people. So understand that not only are you using a gift and talent for a greater cause than just being good and just learning, but um, in this specific benefit concert that we're doing, uh, the, the LaBeouf family is going through a very hard time and you are single-handedly playing a part and helping them through this process and this situation, this really hard trial they're going through. So I, I just wanna commend you guys and I wanna thank you parents so much for all of your continued support. I cannot wait for next cycle. Uh, so much has happened even in a, a short period of time in the last four months, this cycle. Um, and there's definitely gonna be some really, really cool things coming up that I look forward to talking to you about in the future. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, probably text or phone call will be the quickest. So I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.